Hey guys, Caleb's Cards here. I'm at you with another football binder video. This is video number three. And this should be uh, an alphabetic order order of NFL stars from last name start with J to L. So we'll go ahead and get into that and see what I got in my binder. Um, hopefully you guys can hear it just to help fill some of the empty space. I got a little bit of background music going. So hopefully that's not too distracting or too loud, but I'm just trying something, some copyright free background music. So um, credit will go down in the description below for the video I chose. So let's go ahead and start. So the first guy we have the show is Mr. Bo Jackson. Of course, there's the recent Bo Jackson card we were able to pick up at the antique mall. And we got Mr. Deshaun Jackson. There's a lot of Jacksons. <laughs> Harold Jackson. Uh, Kareem Jackson, I decided to add. Uh, he's currently on the Broncos. Um, he's put together a pretty solid career as a cornerback and safety. Keith Jackson, who uh, put together a pretty solid uh, tight end career, on my opinion. So... Uh, I thought he was worthy enough of adding. I do have another card that I stumbled across that I can't find at the moment that needs to go in here as well. Uh, then we come to the portion where Indian Head 24 would definitely love. Um, so hopefully he gets to see this video. But we got Steven Jackson, uh, one of his favorite NFL players. And I got quite a few of his cards from my St. Louis Rams. Um, lot that I bought. And just a lot of Steven Jackson. We got Tom Jackson, a Broncos Ring of Famer. Uh, Vincent Jackson, who sadly just passed away, uh, seems to have potentially taken in his own life, which is really sad. Uh, Josh Jacobs, which is definitely proven that he's a star. Joe Jacoby. Ron Jaworski, or Jaws, sometimes as he was called. Jim Jeffcoat, pretty good defense end for the Cowboys. Also got a lot of Johnsons, Andre Johnson. Um, Chad Johnson, now I know a lot of his cards say Chad Ochoacinco, but I'm not going to put him in the O section, that's just ridiculous. He's always been known as Chad Johnson to me, so... Chris Johnson, one of the most quickest players almost that I've ever seen. Derek Johnson. Keyshawn Johnson. Got Larry Johnson, who was pretty decent in his prime. The Chiefs had some pretty good running backs in Holmes and Johnson around the same time period. Norm Johnson. Kind of maybe a forgotten kicker, but he was pretty good. Daryl Johnston, one of the greatest fullbacks, mostly known for his blocking, but could get some touchdowns for them when Emmett Smith needed a break. Calvin Johnson, who's obviously he's, he'll be moved to the Hall of Fame by here very soon when I get to it. Uh, Chandler Jones. We got Ed Tutal Jones, who should be in the Hall of Fame. At least I think he should. Julio Jones. Just a remarkable wide receiver. Sean Jones, kind of maybe a player that you guys may not think of, but he was a pretty good pass rusher. Um, was on the Packers Super Bowl team. 
and some pretty good Oilers teams. So, Sean Jones. We got Mr. Thomas Jones, Cardinals and Jets running back. Now, he didn't necessarily have a lot of touchdowns, but he had a lot of yardage, a lot of 1,000 yard rushing seasons, which I thought was worthy of putting him in here. I mean, he was pretty good when he was given a shot. If I could turn the page. Seth Joyner, really good tackling linebacker. Didn't make a lot of sacks, but just he was able to stop runners. Maurice Jones Drew might be a little controversial to add him in here. But uh, when healthy and when um, not injured, I mean, he was pretty good. So I decided to include him. Ryan Kalil, uh, I think he's like a six time Pro Bowl or something like that. So, I mean, he was a pretty good center. Probably would make the Hall of Fame, honestly. Javon Kearsey. Or Kears. Uh, I thought he was in the Hall of Fame, but I guess he wasn't. So he's in here. For now. <laughs> I need to fix that page, I think. It's off the... Oh, there's another one with the Eagles towards the end of his career. Travis Kelsey. One of the best tight ends in the game right now. Maybe the best. Just catches everything. Jack Kent. Buffalo Bills. Great. And my grandma's favorite Bills player. Uh, Mike Ken. Lots of Pro Bowl in his career. Really should be in the Hall of Fame. Excellent on left tackle. Got George Kittle. I have no idea how he did last year. But 2019, he was an absolute beast. So um, He made my mind. Dave Craig. Had a lot of yardage. A lot of pass yardage. And touchdown passes for uh, the time, so I thought, where are they putting him in here? We share the same last name, but it is spelled differently. Still kind of cool. Luke Keekley, still think will be a Hall of Famer, even though he retired early due to health concerns. John Kuhn, another fullback legend. George Coons. Uh, lots of Pro Bowls again. Also another possibility of making the Hall of Fame someday. He's been in talks. Sean Londetta. Played for a long time. I think like 20 years as a punter. Um, even he's been considered, I guess, for Hall of Fame. But probably Ray Gaio, probably the only one. Except for maybe like Shane Leckler. I don't know. We'll see. Ken Lanier. Really good left tackle for the Denver Broncos. Lots of Pro Bowls as well. Marshawn Lattimore. One of the best uh, defensive backs in the game. Sean Lee, I decided to add. Uh, when healthy, he was an absolute beast. I thought he had retired, but he's still playing. Um, not putting up elite levels, but still a, a solid veteran linebacker. We'll see if he comes back again. Jamal Lewis. Uh, I was not planning on adding him. Until I saw a video on YouTube uh, last year of just uh, his amazing, uh, I think, 2,000-yard season. Uh, he was really good, so I decided to add him. Mo Lewis was just a tackling machine, so I had to put him in here. Jake Long, who's also considered to be a Hall of Famer. Nick Lowry, another guy who should be in the Hall of Fame. Andrew Luck, of course, shocked the world when he retired early, but due to the health reasons, he can't, couldn't do it. Who knows, maybe he might shock us and come back for a season. One of these days, you never know. And finally, we got Beast Mode, Marshawn Lynch. So, that rounds out the binders, guys. Or the third binder. So, again, I hope you enjoyed just seeing my thought process and going through these cards. So... Talk to you guys later. I got a whole bunch more videos to film and uh, to keep you guys entertained for weeks to come. At least that's the, that's the plan. So thank you guys again for watching. See ya.